Welcome to Guns Gear Network. I appreciate you tuning in today. Going to bring you this uh, little review this afternoon and discussion about a new tactical setup I just wanted to share with you. I've had this for a while. I've done some other videos about tactical communication setups and um, one of them was done probably well over a year ago that was pretty popular and um, I'm going to show you another one today that's very economical. If you're running a Baofeng radio, um, if not you should just because they work. Um, they um, are great little radios for the price and there's tons of accessories out there uh, for them that is dirt cheap. So this little setup is a little different. So if you're familiar with the military and law enforcement style uh, headphones that a lot of them you see wear, whether it be under their helmet or attached to their helmet, those things are like super expensive. However, like in my other video, I showed being able to use something like that's inexpensive like the Howard Lights uh, here in protection, the earmuffs that they have that are electronic, that's fairly economical and most people can afford, and a lot of people already have them. So it's a matter of being able to kind of put something together that mimics what the military ones do or the law enforcement ones. So what they do is you can order these on eBay and Amazon, different places, but these are called the covert or the secret service style uh, earpieces. And it all comes in one unit. So you have this wire here and I've got it attached up here, uh, right here on the back. And it, uh, this right here would attach to your ear like that and then it comes down to the push to talk section here and then it runs off of there down into your radio here. So here's how you would set this up. Pretty simple and easy. I would put this on first in my ear. Then I would put my hearing protection on. And then if you want to wear a helmet, you would put then that on top of your hearing protection. Um, but this right here would go in your ear. That way the um, hearing protection, like say the Howard lights, they would still function exactly like they were supposed to. That other setup I showed you, you lost the ambient noise. Um, gain. So like the Howard lights are supposed to amplify ambient noise but yet cut off any loud noise like gunfire. Well when you use the setup that I showed before with the cable and the regular push to talk microphone that's in conjunction with one another you lost that ambient noise. It would You could still hear the radio but it would not allow you to have amplification for ambient noise. I prefer this setup to be honest with you because A it's a little cheaper not by a whole lot, but a little bit. And But the main thing is I still use the Howard lights like they're supposed to. It amplifies ambient noise, allows me to hear things that I might not have been able to hear otherwise, but yet I can still hear my radio. And because of the real low pro covert design of this, it doesn't interfere with anything as far as, you know, making my ear hurt or, you know, kind of being bulky. It is super small and lightweight and it fits just perfect underneath the Howard lights and doesn't cause you any problems. Now, one thing I will tell you, this uh, clear piece here that goes around the ear, to make this form more of a circle and stay kind of attached to my ear correctly, I took a very thin piece of wire and just ran it through here. This is a hollow tube, by the way, that uh, meets up with this. So it kind of, this is where the microphone uh, is, I'm sorry, the uh, speaker is, and it, the tra sound travels up this clear hollow tube. And so what I did was this little piece of wire that I just used to form it around my ear doesn't interfere with the sound at all. So that's why I'm able to do that because that is a hollow tube. There's nothing in it. And like I said, you can stick that in your ear, put your uh, hearing protection on on top of it, and you're good to go. I just routed the wire under here to get it out of the way. I uh, Then it comes with, on the push to talk section, it comes with this little clip here. And I just attached it to my Molly. And it's you can turn it like this. It turns in 360, so you can put it in a different bunch of different configurations. If you want to mount it up here on your lapel, you could do that. So you know, if you want to mount it up here, you could. I just thought down here uh, on my chest rig is the simplest solution. I can just reach down, and this right here is obviously up a little higher on me than this uh, tactical Dan dummy I got. And uh, it's just a matter of just kind of ducking your chin down just a little bit when you speak into it. And when you speak into a microphone for a radio, let's say this is your face. You want the microphone about this far away. You don't want it all the way up against your face or near your mouth. People can't hear it. So this distance actually is good uh, to be able to uh, not be muffled when people are trying to listen to you or whatever. But, you know, if you're not wearing this and you're not using it, you can just simply tuck that down in there kind of out of the way. And... Um, that way you don't have to worry about it flopping around or anything. 
But anyway, guys, just kind of want to show you this. Like I said, you can buy these things for somewhere between probably six and twelve dollars, including shipping. Very dirt cheap. Buy you a few of them if you're worried about them breaking or something. Just buy you two or three of them and keep them as spares. Um, the Bayou Fang radios also come with usually an earpiece like this or something similar. Not exactly the same, but they do come with an earpiece. And I've used those in the past too. So you can also rig that up underneath your uh, something like your Howard lights. But anyway, guys, just thought I'd bring this to you, show you a little more tactical communication setup and. And, uh, something economical and easy for you guys to get as always guys if you like our videos give us a thumbs up that's greatly appreciated it's down there in that section also down in that section is the share button share your content it helps us get the word out about guns and gear network which is also greatly appreciated as always guys like share and subscribe bring another video shortly have a great day